What's up guys, it's Marissa with Barely Keeping It Together and today I'm gonna to be taking you along to teach you all of the things about how to style a coffee table in four different ways. So when you're styling any space in your home, do yourself a favor and gather all of your decor items. So here you can see I've gathered coffee table books, small boxes, accessories, flowers, so that I have a lot to start from. Then I'm able to pull out what's gonna work and try different vignettes within the space. I started my first vignette with a few stacked coffee table books. Then you can see me start to play with various accessories from candles to this figurine I have, and I just start zhuzhing. As I've said a million times before, life is all about iteration, so you'll see me put things down, pick things up, see what's working, see what's not working, and sort of play around just to get a feel for all of my different options. This first coffee table setup came out very feminine and floral, and I absolutely love the crystal touch here in the center. I think it gives it this very femme look with the lighter colors, with the white coffee table book on top, the white candle and the flowers. It is super feminine and pretty. So get a good look at style number one before we move on to style number two here in a second. Moving on to style number two, I decided to start with a wood tray. Now trays are great for styling any coffee table because it allows you to corral a lot of items in a way that seems very intentional. So whether you store remote controls or other things that you need on the coffee table, when you put it in a tray, it's going to look a lot more put together. This aesthetic is a little bit more masculine. It has a touch of the restoration hardware aesthetic because I have the moss inside of the cement bowl, which by the way is a DIY that I talked about in another video I will link above. And obviously the wood tray is a little bit more masculine as well. If you guys like any of these items, I'm going to link everything down in the description below. And if I can't find the exact item, I will link something similar. Get your final look at style two before we move on to style number three. Keeping the same wooden tray, I stacked coffee table books to show you that this tray is great for, again, corralling books and making it look more refined. Now you're gonna see me play with a couple different decorative accessories before I figure out, again, exactly what works here. But I tried, you know, my crystals and my candles and my plants and all different sorts of things before I decided to actually make it a little bit more of a complex vignette Although I did love this look right here with the yellow flower and the tray alone, but then I decided to add more coffee table books. This really decorated style with lots of things on the coffee table gives a much more maximalist look. So if your home decor is very glam or you're drawn to maximalist glam styles, try doing lots of things like this. I also love how I use this box here to hide a remote control and it allows you to sort of tuck things away that you don't want guests to see in a public space and yet still have the function of having whatever you need on the coffee table. Although this coffee table is super styled, it still has plenty of room to, you know, kick your feet up, put a drink down, watch TV. Your view is definitely not impaired here. So take a look at this style number three before we're going to move on to style number four, our final style. For our final style, I decided to do a little bit more of a modern minimalist style, which I absolutely love. Again, I started with a tray on the other side of the table, and then I varied up height with two different glass vases. I brought in some more decorative accessories and another item of function I brought in here was putting in the coasters because if you're using your coffee table every single day, you probably need coasters for your drinks at night. Then I added this tall figurine to add some height to this side of the table as well. This adds balance as well as visual interest. Take a look at style number four here and this is how it came out. If you guys loved any of the accessories or items that I used in today's video, again, I have linked everything down in the description below or very similar items. But now I want to know what's your favorite? Style number one, number two, number three, or number four? Leave me a comment and let me know down below. Bye.